is the footage from a home security camera in Vacaville, California. It was April when this footage was taken, and during that time of year, it's common to see a lot of activity in the form of kids walking home from school each afternoon. On this day, at some point, a girl with a backpack on is shown walking into frame. She was walking home from school like everyone else. However, she had been being followed for several blocks by a man in a dark-colored Pontiac. She noticed this, and so she used a large truck parked on the side of the road to hide. She abruptly stops walking while she's out of view of the Pontiac. The driver stops, expecting her to come back into view. When she doesn't, he stalls there for a while before slowly driving off. The girl is left standing there, unsure of what to do next. Eventually, she sees the car coming back and decides to stay put behind the truck. Pontiac drives by and then reverses to try and talk to the girl, but she continually repositions herself out of view. Finally, he drives off again and the girl makes a run for it. After receiving multiple tips about the driver and his car, the police started an investigation. A 24-year-old man was identified as the driver. He was interviewed, but not arrested. He technically hadn't committed any crime and therefore police couldn't really do anything. Whether or not the man was actually planning something that day is unknown. In Memphis, Tennessee, two brothers were captured in a doorbell footage. One of them was caught by the police the previous day, but they were back together at this house where they lost something. What they lost was apparently their weapons. They knock at the residence and ask the man if they could go and search for them in the backyard, since they dropped them while running away from the police. What's up? Hey, uh, my little brother done ran from the police the other day. They ran to y'all back y'all. We, we just looking for our guns, baby, bro. What? I said, my brother and them lost their guns in your backyard yesterday. They ran from the police. Can we look in your backyard to find them? The police was already one. Yeah, go on, go on ahead and look right quick. Cause we ain't know, we ain't know she be, bro. We just try to find our gun. Go ahead and look right quick. I'm looking at something. The man asks them to search quickly and leave. They seem to head toward the backyard. The underscore hillbillies is a TikTok account about a family who talk about their daily lives in the woods and the countryside. If you look at their videos, they never speak about mysterious or creepy things. However, something strange has happened in the woods where their home is. Just let the dogs out and this sh** happening again. Dude, what? Huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sean, the father, hears disturbing howling noises out in the woods. Listen to that. What? I don't know. Do why do you think I brought him in the house and run out here? He tells his family to go inside and immediately investigates the noises heard deep in the woods. Listen to that. Do 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 get him in the house. Get him in the house. Well, whatever that noise is, undoubtedly, they are not alone, and Sean, curious about who made that noise, decides to go out and explore with his dogs. After a few minutes or hours of exploring, he finds what appears to be a deep, dark cave. I think we're dealing with something more than what we thought. God, that gives me chills listening to it. We're filming a new Bigfoot Chronicles. And we found what we've been looking for. Look at this. 
That goes way back. We gotta get some flashlights. Sean then goes back home and uploads these videos to TikTok, and as the next day comes, he's filming his regular vlog until the same howling voice appears again, and louder than before. Life's about spreading love, so tag three people that... Dude, I know I'm not going crazy. Yeah. All right, that was clear. And after that, he even set up cameras to catch the thing, but his camera disappeared. Sean also got up one night to hear dogs everywhere in the neighborhood barking at what seemed to be the noises the creature made. This is crazy. I don't know how to explain this. I, I really don't even want to do this. So I left a camera sitting here just to see if I can catch anything. And this was in place of it. This is some blur of weird stuff right here. What the hell? Right there. I put those in the ground to kind of prop the camera up because I forgot my tripod. And now the camera's gone. And it stinks right here bad. Sean then decides to install more cameras to try to catch footage of the thing. And what he catches next is shocking. This footage was uploaded to YouTube in 2016 by a man named Michael Bouchard, who mentioned his dashcam captured the following incident in Denver, Colorado as he was driving home from work one day. Keep your eye on the semi-trailer that appears in the left-hand corner of the screen. As the semi travels through the overpass, the driver approaches the curve a bit too fast, causing the truck to tip over and nearly fly off the overpass from Interstate 70 to I-25. As soon as the truck hits the barrier, the side of the vehicle slices open, causing hundreds of cans of Miller Genuine Craft to rain down on the highway below. After the incident, traffic was backed up for miles on both highways, as the truck was towed and cleanup crews removed the beer that had fallen on the northbound lanes. Had the truck been going just a little bit faster, the truck would have plummeted on the road below and caused a horrible accident. Fortunately though, no one was injured during the incident. On July 23, 2023, a woman's dashcam captured a particularly disturbing incident in Oakland. The footage follows the woman driving down Skyline Boulevard behind a white Dodge Charger. The poor video quality could be due to the woman's dash cam or to a possible compression when the video is transferred to desktop, but regardless, this is the quality of the original video. Aside from the woman's car and the white charger, there are no other cars in sight. Out of nowhere, the Dodge suddenly slows down in the middle of the road and stops at an angle, blocking the woman's path. Come on now, quit around. No! Ah! As soon as the Dodge stops in front of her car, the driver immediately realizes something is wrong and fear begins to set in. Unfortunately, nothing could have prepared her for what she was about to experience. After getting out of their vehicle, the two men rush at the woman's car and one of them begins banging on the window to make her get out. Although she panics and screams, the driver remains level-headed enough to step on the gas and drive away. Fortunately, she was not followed and made it home safely. In a later interview, the woman, who chose to remain anonymous, said that she had been driving that route for 38 years and had never been the victim of a carjacking until then. Although no arrests have been made yet, the cops suspect that the same two men who attacked the woman may be linked to other carjackings in the East Oakland Hills area, and they plan to continue investigating until they find the men responsible. The driver ultimately made the right choice in speeding away. Had she given in to fear and stepped out of the car, a carjacking would probably have been the least of her worries. This next footage was captured in 2017 in Thailand. On the morning of December 26th, a 32-year-old radio operator named Mana was looking down at his phone as he walked back towards his car from his radio office when he had an unexpected near-death experience.
As soon as he walks by the power line, the electricity cables above his head spontaneously explode. Had he taken a fraction of a second more to react, Mana would have been struck by the power line, which would have most likely been fatal. As he later revealed in an interview, the explosion was caused by an electrical fault due to overheating, which melted the nearby wires. At the time of the incident, the city had seen some pretty heavy rain, which only made things worse. According to sources close to the victim, some cities in Thailand are known for notoriously dangerous overhead cables that litter the streets and pose a significant risk to those who find themselves walking under them at the wrong time. Luckily, Mana was able to walk away unharmed, but the incident obviously raises a huge red flag to how electricity is structured in some of these cities. On November 21st, 2018, a 24-year-old woman named Vanessa Donay sat in the backseat of her mother's Chevy Equinox with her two-year-old daughter as they waited for Vanessa's mom to finish her appointment at a business center in Windsor, Canada. At one point during the waiting period, Vanessa noticed a suspicious man walk past their vehicle and stare at it for a little longer than necessary. Almost immediately after walking out of frame, the man doubles back around and approaches the car. With an alarmingly casual demeanor, he then enters the Chevy through the unlocked passenger door where he finds Vanessa and her daughter sitting in the back seat. Understandably terrified, Vanessa can be heard screaming at the man. Although the rest of the incident wasn't caught on camera, Vanessa reported that as soon as the man saw her, he gave her a disturbing smile, shut the door, and took off in his black pickup truck. After she reported the incident to the cops and posted the video on Facebook, some viewers theorized that the man had maybe just seen Vanessa's daughter, and thinking she was alone, he thought he could steal her. However, others thought he didn't see anybody and was just trying to steal the car. Just three days later, officers with the Windsor Police Property Crimes Unit saw the man drive a vehicle into a parking lot near the area of the incident. According to the police report, as soon as the man got out of the car and went into an apartment building, the cops followed and arrested him without incident. The man was immediately identified as 38-year-old Corey Oikel, and as it was later revealed, the vehicle he was found with was stolen, supporting the idea that he was only trying to steal Vanessa's car and not her daughter. Inside his car, the cops also found several stolen items from his previous car thefts, along with a bunch of random receipts that indicated the man had made fraudulent transactions using stolen property. As per the court documents that were released a couple of months later, the incident with Vanessa wasn't exactly Corey's first rodeo. After the cops were able to connect him with several other similar incidents from earlier that year, Corey was charged with four counts of possession of stolen property, three counts of theft, two counts of assault, uttering threats, attempted theft of a motor vehicle, theft of a motor vehicle, theft of mail, and fraud. Fortunately, Vanessa was smart enough to scare him away by screaming before he could do anything even more messed up than his previous crimes. This extremely disturbing incident took place at about 7 a.m. on May 18th, 2021 in West Pensacola, Florida. In the footage that was caught by a nearby parked car's dash cam, an 11-year-old girl can be seen kneeling on the grass waiting for a bus to pick her up for school. A few seconds into the video, a white Dodge Journey circles around the girl, and although she notices it, she doesn't seem to be alarmed. Unfortunately, the man at the wheel of the Dodge wasn't just casually driving around the neighborhood as the girl might have imagined. Just a minute and a half later, the same white car pulled over at the edge of the roundabout, with the driver completely oblivious to the fact that his license plates were being recorded. Once again, the little girl turns her head and looks at the white car several times, but with no real reason to be afraid yet, she stays where she is. That's when the driver gets out of the car and does the unthinkable. In an act of pure evil, the man attempts to steal the girl and carry her back to his car. The girl bravely struggles against his grip, and eventually the man stumbles, causing both of them to fall on the grass. After realizing his cover had been blown, the man runs back to his car and drives away. It's terrifying to think what would have happened to the girl had the man not tripped and fallen, but luckily his license plate made it easy for cops to track him down and arrest him that same evening. Later that night, the West Pensacola Sheriff's Department identified the suspect as 30-year-old Jared Paul Stanga. According to the police report, he was armed with a knife at the time of the attack. It was also revealed that the suspect had a lengthy criminal history. 
During the investigation, police also found that the Dodge Journey he was driving had been freshly painted, most likely in an attempt to avoid detection. Disturbingly, two weeks before the incident, the little girl mentioned to her school principal that a man in a white car had pulled up to her bus stop and talked to her, but no actions were taken by the school to protect her. After the attack, Jared Stanga was charged with attempted kidnapping of a child under 13, aggravated assault, and battery. Luckily, the girl was reported safe, though obviously pretty shaken up by the events she went through that morning. This footage was captured on November 2nd, 2014, and shows a car speeding down Highway 78 at around midnight. A few seconds later, the video shows the driver slowing down to avoid hitting a suspicious roadblock up ahead, consisting of just two traffic cones blocking the entire road. As the driver brings his car to a stop, his headlights eerily catch the lower half of a man's body walking suspiciously towards his vehicle. When he tries to drive through the cones, the man stands in his way, blocking the car's path. Sensing something is off, the driver immediately calls out to the man to try to get an explanation. Can I, what's going on? Can I help you with something? Yes. Um it probably wasn't the best idea to engage with a man who put cones in the middle of the highway, but then again, they could have been there for any number of reasons. In the caption of the video, the uploader mentioned that as soon as he asked him if he needed help, he saw the man reach into his pocket, and that's when the driver decided to play it safe and sped away. According to the uploader, the man and his accomplice were later detained by the cops, but were somehow only charged with DUI. If the man had been given more time, it's anyone's guess what he would have done, but luckily the driver didn't stick around long enough to find out. In 2016, a YouTuber named Bear with Hat uploaded this alarming footage that he recorded on his phone in June of that year. In the caption of the video, the uploader explained that after leaving his friend's house in Keller, Texas, he noticed a white Dodge Challenger traveling closely behind him. Suspecting that he was being followed, he pretended to enter the I-35 highway but swerved onto a service road at the last second. To his horror, the white car then also swerved onto the service road and continued to follow him. In an attempt to shake off the white car, Bear with Hat made a sudden U-turn at an overpass and pulled over on the other side of the highway. When he saw the Dodge still following closely behind him, he sped off and pulled over into a turning lane in front of a hospital at the next intersection. That's when the white car stopped right in front of him with their left turn signal still flashing, and this is where things take a darker turn. Just a few seconds after the uploader started recording to try to get the car's license played, a man steps out of the driver's side of the Dodge and approaches the car. Another man who wasn't caught by the victim's phone was also getting out of the car, but the uploader hightailed it out of there before he could clearly catch him on his camera. In the description of the video, the victim also mentioned that if the man on the passenger side had not gotten out of the way in time, he would have ran him over and kept on driving. At some point during his escape, the uploader dropped his phone on the floor of his Hyundai Elantra to focus on the road and headed to a grocery store that he knew would probably have a cop standing outside. As soon as the driver of the Dodge saw him head towards the officer, he broke off the pursuit and fled in a different direction. Because of the uploader's well-timed reaction and quick thinking, we'll likely never know what the two men had planned for him that night, but judging by their threatening behavior, it couldn't have been anything good. In it, a white car can be seen traveling through a series of roundabouts before continuing on a straight road. Everything seems calm at first, but just 10 seconds into the video, something pretty messed up was caught by the driver's dash cam. Disturbingly, a woman can be seen crossing the street right when the car is going by and practically throws herself at the vehicle. A couple of seconds later, a man rushes towards the alleged victim and tries to get the driver to stop. Though the driver had the common sense to drive away as fast as possible. Had the driver been distracted or shocked by the incident, he might have made the mistake of stopping and getting out to see if the victim was okay. 
Fortunately, the man and woman's bad acting made it more than obvious that something suspicious was going on and that the driver would probably have been in danger had he gotten out of his car. It's hard to accurately gauge the intentions of someone crazy enough to launch themselves into oncoming traffic and put themselves in the line of danger like that. But according to the description in the original video, the driver initially thought that the whole incident was staged to pull off an insurance scam in which the supposed victim and an accomplice stage an accident, fake a severe injury, and then exaggerate their claim to receive compensation for medical expenses from the insurance company. Although this was the driver's first thought, the reason he drove off so quickly was something completely different. Later that same morning, the driver reported the incident to the police and mentioned in his statement that even though it wasn't captured by the dash cam, as soon as the man on the side of the road rushed out to help the supposedly injured woman, a group of men could be seen emerging from the shadows and sprinting toward the vehicle from behind. Realizing the danger he would be in if he got out of the vehicle, the driver took off immediately to avoid a potential carjacking, extortion, or even kidnapping. According to the Browns Plains Police Station, an investigation was launched after the report, but the people involved were never found. It's unknown what would have happened to the driver had he gotten out of his car to assess the woman's supposed injuries, or even had stayed there a bit longer in his car. One can only assume that the men were trying to get him out of his car for some horrific purpose. In broad daylight, a guy with a rolly board rolled into someone's property, not with any nefarious intent, but for some goofy antics. After doing some lighthearted shenanigans, he took things to another level by proceeding to lick something on the wall. In broad daylight, two young men were caught sneaking around someone's property, attempting to peer inside the house. After lingering for a while, they eventually decided to leave, leaving behind an uneasy feeling for the homeowners. A homeless person appeared on someone's property, seemingly searching for something. The homeowner received a notification about the presence and asked him to leave, threatening to call the police. I came through the alley and I dropped something. I dropped my $20 bill. Well, if you came through the alley, you didn't drop it on my porch. You need to get off my property. I'm calling the cops. Okay, and the cops will tell you the same thing. I dropped something, I'm looking for it. I'm homeless and it's all I have to feed myself. However, the guy claimed to have lost his $20 bill and insisted on finding it, stating it was all he had. In the Orange County area of California, a man engaged in illegal activity. Late at night, he appeared in someone's driveway and used an object to create scratches on the car. Unfortunately, his face wasn't captured on camera, otherwise it could have assisted the police in arresting and charging him for his actions. An unusual stranger arrives at these people's door during the late hours of the night. Having approached their porch, he removes his shirt and rings the doorbell, yet they refrain from opening the door. A break-in at the house took place by Rappahannock around 8.15 p.m., holding items in their hand with the items. It appeared like the glass had been shattered. Two homeless individuals appeared at a random house. One of them rang the doorbell, expecting the door to open, but it didn't. The man decided to spend the night on the porch due to a lack of options. If you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Hello? Hello? Shit, bro, man. Mm. I'll sleep right there. I'll sleep right there. Yeah. Come on. Oh, she's coming. Right here. I'm just want to sleep right here. I'm not walking all the way back. 
the woman, walking closer to the doorbell camera, left a message for the owner expressing their desire to take a room on rent, mentioning their difficult circumstances after losing their baby and being homeless. They conveyed that they had some money and were waiting to hear back from the owner. Please leave the package outside. If you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. You got somebody who wants to rent your room. There's someone who would like to rent your room. Mm -hmm. He has lots of money and he would like to rent you a room. Mm -hmm. He just lost his baby, baby guy. He had, had his baby and baby He's looking forward to go visit his baby. Um, give us a, please give us a response. Thank you. Have a good night. Rest God bless you. A shirtless barefoot man appeared at someone's house late at night. He rang the doorbell and claimed to be there for some type of chores. Well, I just told you it's online, but I'm waiting for the keys. Uh, I'm going to be doing the chores until you get out, until you open up. I'm just going to be doing chores like you want. Like Mom said. The homeowner, exercising caution, wisely decided not to answer it. A man arrived at the front door of a house late at night. He rang the doorbell, took a seat on the porch chair, and started smoking. The man appeared visibly distressed. The whole... <laughs> After a while, he walked away and shouted out loud, leaving us wondering about the challenges he might be facing. A daring group of teenage thieves was caught on nearly 20 security cameras attempting to break into a Wilston home while the family slept upstairs. Astonishingly, the intruders made no effort to conceal their identities and fled with just a shoe left at the front door. This without a care in the world, as if they would never get caught. Their actual target, a multi-million dollar car collection, remained secured in the garage. This incident marked the third time the house and its valuable car collection were targeted. This is the third attempt now in 18 months, so it's getting a little bit ridiculous. At the end of the day, like, it's not about what they took, it's about the fact that people can just walk into your house, walk around and do so without consequence. Uh, if it's that extra bit of deterrence that there's a car driving around with a spotlight sun looking into houses, then I think it's worth doing for sure. Concerned by increasing break-ins, neighbors are now contemplating the idea of investing in private security guards to patrol the streets. This doorbell camera recorded a high-stakes chase. The person pursued by the police was driving recklessly at an alarming speed. The car eventually lost control and crashed. Officers quickly left their vehicles, forming a perimeter around the suspect's car. Additional police units arrived, and the suspect was apprehended. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident. Watch this chilling video capturing a disturbing incident where a knife-wielding man tries to force his way into a woman's home. The motive behind his actions remains unknown, but with persistent effort, he succeeds in gaining entry. Faced with a genuine threat to her life, the woman, in fear and self-defense, fires around, tragically ending the man's life. In this case, the police have chosen not to press charges against the woman, citing it as a valid application of stand-your-ground principles.
It's worth noting the man has a history of domestic violence and anger issues. The landlord showed up at the tenant's doorstep for the overdue rent. As they began talking, the conversation escalated into a heated argument. The owner, frustrated with the unpaid rent, eventually declared the man's eviction. Please wait. It may take me a moment to answer. Yes, sir. You got my rent? I have your money. He's on. I'm going to put it back in the bank. I have the money cash right here. Five days. Five days waiting for you. I complied that as I told you. I went and put it back in the bank. Okay. You can come tomorrow at the same time. Okay. Anyway, I come from work. I already work today. You got this month and next month's rent, right? Come on. I just started working. You've been good with me all these months. No, I'm, I'm no sorry. good no more. I told you that. But don't be so bad with me. I just got my. You're being evicted. Don't you understand? Why not getting evicted? You're being evicted. Now I'm paying the rent. I tell you what. You take that money. Don't and make me. And you go and you rent a big U-Haul truck. And you pack it up in here. You put all your stuff in that truck, and you move back to Miami and go live with your mother or your roommate's mother. No roommate. She's gone. There's nobody here living with her. Her, her mother. Her you, mother passed away last month. Well, okay? then go somewhere well, where else. What else? Then go somewhere else. But you're being evicted. And then there you go. What do you want my money for? I don't want it now. I want you to move out. Okay. I'll see you in three months. I'll take three months and try me, and I'll make it last. I have attorneys that will. Put well, I have an straight. attorney who will hang you. You want, it? you want me to fall? You want me to. Uh, you want me to fall? I can fall too, buddy. Right there, you can. I can right fall there. too. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right I can fall too. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Look, you did that right there. No, no. Not... Tensions rose further, and the verbal confrontation turned physical. Our first clip of the day was uploaded to Instagram by the Paranormal Viking. An employee allegedly caught this wild piece of footage while working the night shift at a morgue. Take a look. It's not known where exactly this footage was taken, but it's believed to be somewhere in South America. Some commenters ignored that unsettling feeling that this footage conjures up and suggested that it might just be a hoax. Perhaps magnets through the wall or even a remote control gurney. Others, however, said it's irrefutable proof of a spirit haunting the property, and given the setting of a morgue, many agreed. So where do you sit on this irksome footage? Let me know in the comments down below.